Namaste, Sasarikal, Salam Alaikum, hello. My name's Priya Samuel and I'm the Health and Wellbeing Board Partnerships Manager for Wandsworth. I'm here with Shannon Cotillo, Director of Public Health, who will be talking today about the COVID-19 vaccine, why it is safe for you to take it. Shannon, thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Please, can you explain the local approach to vaccinate the residents in the borough? Yes, and firstly, thank you for inviting me to hopefully answer some of the questions that our residents will have. The Council has been working very closely with the NHS on the rollout of the vaccines. I think this is by far one of the biggest immunisation programmes that we've ever had in the United Kingdom. Um, to date, we have over 35 vaccination sites now available across South West London, and the rollout has included hospital hubs, GP-led primary care sites, um, and also pharmacies. The NHS have been working really hard going into care homes to vaccinate uh, people there uh, and also going into homes of people who are potentially unable to leave their households. Jointly, we've been working together to ensure that all our frontline health and social care staff are vaccinated. That's great. Thank you very much. Some people in the borough are worried about the vaccine. Can you tell us about the process, please? The three vaccines that have been approved for use in the United Kingdom have been approved by the Medicines and Healthcare Regulatory Authority. This means that they meet high standards of quality, safety and effectiveness and have gone through all the rigorous and robust trials that would be expected for any medicines that are licensed in the United Kingdom. Thank you very much for that. Shannon, can you explain if residents should expect any side effects from taking the vaccine? Well, the first thing to say is that there are very few people who cannot receive the AstraZeneca or the Pfizer vaccines. And where there is doubt, obviously people uh, can always consult with their clinician um, or, or their medical practitioner. The vast majority of side effects reported are mild and short lasting. I know some of the residents from black, Asian or minority ethnic communities are worried about the vaccine being less effective for them. Is this true? There is uh, no evidence that there's any difference in the effectiveness of the Oxford or AstraZeneca vaccines on people from different ethnicities. And in fact, in the trials that led to the production of these vaccines, over 10% of the participants in the studies were from uh, black or black African minority ethnic groups. Now, obviously, we also know that millions of people in the United Kingdom have already had the vaccine uh, or have had their first dose. And out of those, there will be a lot of people who are also from black uh, African and minority ethnic groups. Shannon, I'm aware some of our Muslim community here in Wandsworth are concerned about the vaccine. Please can you share some advice for them as to why they should take the vaccine? I want to reassure people from the Muslim community that the vaccines are safe for them to take. The British Islamic Medical Society has actually issued some very good advice on their website encouraging people to take up the vaccine and also answering a lot of questions that people from the Muslim community might have. The other thing I also want to add is that the current vaccines that have been licensed for use in the UK do not contain any products of animal origin and a full list of the ingredients can be found on the government website. Wandsworth residents want to know, does the vaccine include the Covid virus? No, the vaccine does not include the Covid virus. And finally Shannon, if a Wandsworth resident has received the first vaccine, should they continue to book tests for COVID before they receive their second vaccine? Yes, it's important for people to continue to take the test after they've had their first dose of vaccine, but also it's really important uh, that they continue to follow all the usual rules because what we don't know as yet is whether the vaccine will stop you from catching and passing the virus on to other people even though we know it will protect you from serious illness and reduce your risk of ending up in hospital or even uh, dying from covid shannon thank you so much for your time to explain these key questions to our residents you're welcome and i'd like to thank residents of wandsworth for joining us today and stay safe